A different approach to helping Americans living on the streets find homes. For decades, in Los Angeles has struggled to confront its homeless crisis, but a new transitional housing project has the mayor hailing the program as the city's best hope for change. Vibrant tiny home villages have been popping up in neighborhoods around the city, offering shelter, security, and pathways to more permanent housing for those looking to get back on their feet. ABC's Will Carr reports. It's been two months since Roya Shorts moved into her new apartment, and she says every day with a permanent roof over her head is a blessing. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm so thankful, and God bless all of you. Right, I'm going to sleep very good. Thanks to you guys. Bed to sleep in, a kitchen table to eat on, a sofa to lay on. Just a short time ago, these were all basic living essentials that were out of reach for Roya. Last year, she found herself struggling to make ends meet amid the pandemic and a sudden loss of household income. She and her adult son were forced to move out of their Southern California home. To survive, they started living in her car, and she didn't know where to turn. I thought, what are we going to do? I was sitting and sleeping for, for a whole year. Homeless people living, and it's very hard. You have to look for bathroom, you have to look for the shower, you have to look for food. Yeah, it's hard. It's not easy. Roya eventually spoke with a social worker who told her about a new program offering homeless city dwellers a small, clean, air-conditioned space to stay temporarily. She says she didn't know what to expect when she pulled up with her son, but once she stepped out of the car, there was an unmistakable sense of community. They uh, take care of you like uh, their own family uh, is safe. We have a roof on our head. We can lock the door. We have bathroom, shower. Roya is one of hundreds of formerly homeless Angelinos who have flocked to the city's tiny village housing projects. The program launched this spring with just a single collection of 40 colorful homes in North Hollywood. Since then, the program has expanded to neighborhoods throughout the city. All the costs that we pay to keep people barely alive on the street is much more than just housing them and ending that condition. This is un-American to have people on the streets, our veterans, our kids. This is not who we are. And Los Angeles is showing what happens when we step up. Each one of these homes is 64 square feet. And right now, this is the largest tiny home community in the country. It's one of six here across Los Angeles. And they're planning to build more to try to combat the city's homeless crisis. And it's not just the homes. From laundry machines to meals on site, residents have access to a range of services. It's essentially a one-stop shop. Once the basics are taken care of, case managers help plan what comes next, including substance okay. abuse counseling, mental health resources, job training, and housing navigation. The goal? To move anyone who stays here into a permanent home within a few months. We will not give up on you until we get you placed into permanent housing. Ken Kraft is the man behind the mission. Along with his Hope of the Valley nonprofit, he's had a hand in helping countless people living on the streets find permanent housing through the years. The tiny village program run in tandem with the city is the organization's latest push to help unhoused people who want to relocate do so. But the charity isn't intended for everyone. To access this site, you do have to live within a three mile radius. And we have access and engagement teams that are already going out in the community, building relationships, letting them know about this site. And there is a waiting list. Ken says that three mile radius is supposed to keep the tiny village's concept at the neighborhood level. As more villages take shape on city lots throughout Los Angeles, the goal is to have people living around the block come to these transitional housing developments organically. Once they come in here, it really is a stabilizing force because when people are on the streets, they're not really living, they're surviving. Now, all of a sudden, their basic needs are met. They get three meals a day, they get hot showers, they get clean clothes, they have access to laundry and all the services. Now the brain can start to think forward, and that's when we see hope ignited. Some neighbors are excited to see the program land in their backyards. It's a great thing, it's a great thing for these people that get to have the shelter. Hopefully uh, it has more, it'll, it'll bring more people uh, watching each other's back and helping each other out, Hope bring the community together. But not everyone's on board. A change.org petition garnering nearly 800 signatures is calling for the soon to be open tiny village next to a playground in Highland Park to be moved somewhere else. We don't have any issues with the tiny homes being built. It's just we don't have any parks like here. And that's a park that we would use. I mean, there are people in our neighborhood that are selling their houses. 
It's something that we've contemplated on doing. Some residents say they're worried the program will draw more homeless to the area, leading to spikes in crime and lower property values. What would you rather have, an encampment or would you rather have a tiny home community? And I haven't had one person yet tell me I prefer an encampment because on site we can bring the services people need to help end their homelessness. For Roya, those services have already made all the difference as she takes a new lease on life. They save my life. They save our life and it's, I fall in love with tiny homes. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.